Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing the Han Couture Laguna Blue doll. I've had it for a while but I'm a little bit behind on unboxing all the dolls that I got just because I got a bunch of them at the same time. So I'm a little bit behind but I am excited to take her out. As always I'll be showing you the box first and then we're going to take out the doll and check out her accessories and her outfit. So just like all the other Han Couture boxes, this one has like a metallic feel in the front. We see a bunch of drawings that are shiny as well. And some of them are her accessories that she's wearing uh, for this doll. And the rest are just like things related to her. Like for example, we see this little thing is the headband that she's wearing. We also see an octopus, a seahorse, a starfish. This little piece kind of looks like leather, but I don't really feel like it's leather. I'm not sure why they did the box kind of green. I would have liked to have a blue box. Like all these little lines could have been more blue i think or a little bit more mint color i feel like this is like a darker green but i mean it's still cute i just feel like it doesn't match as much for her that design goes all the way around the box but on the back of the box we don't see that metallic on the green parts but the drawings are still shiny as you can see and here she is oh my god she's so gorgeous first we get the certificate of authenticity and is signed by glenda Shu, who was the designer of this doll and then we also have like a little letter right here from laguna if you guys want to pause it to read it we also get a diary and it says this diary belongs to laguna blue and it also says hey mate i know this is lost but could you return it when you're done Thanks. So she doesn't mind that you read her diary. And obviously I'm not going to sit here and read it to you. But if you guys are interested or anything, I can post pictures of it. If you guys want to read it or anything like that, let me know in the comments. Look how gorgeous she is. Oh my goodness. She's seriously stunning. Um, her face is perfect. But I did order two. And the two that I got, they weren't that bad. But the lipstick was smeared all over the plastic so i did contact mattel and they sent me a replacement they just replaced one but it's okay because like i said it, it wasn't like super ugly the other ones but still i mean for 75 dollars plus tax plus shipping it was an expensive doll for it not to be perfect so they did send me this replacement and this one is perfect and gorgeous so thank you so much to mattel for actually taking care of your customers and understanding that if you're paying a lot of money for a doll you actually want something that is going to be good looking because it's a collectible doll all right so just like any other hunt couture doll this one has a coffin feel in the back like the padded background and this one inside it kind of looks a little bit more minty so i wish that they, they could have done that color outside of the box because that matches her a little bit more i just feel like the outside looks too dark but anyway so this is how she looks inside of the box but let's take her completely out and check out her outfit Okay, so here she is out of her box, uh, but before we check out her outfit, let's check the little extras that she comes with. So first she comes with a stand, and like I said, this is a little bit more mint looking. If you compare it, like this green is a little bit darker. I wish that her box was this color. It would have been really cool. And we also get this matching brush. It's exactly the same color and metallic like the stand the next thing is her purse and i am just super obsessed with it it was like probably my favorite thing about this doll so it is a clear bag just like her original doll and it has like a little fish skeleton inside it is not neptuna because this is a different fish uh, but i think it's super cute i just love it and i love the color it is like super detail we have a little shell right here i was trying to open it but it doesn't open which is good because you won't lose the fish 
but at the same time it would have been cool to be able to open it okay so now let's check out the actual doll so she does have a side ponytail her hair feels pretty soft but it is a little bit messy i know that when they do curls like that it looks really good on the box but once you take it out it kind of looks messy so hopefully one day i can fix it i say that for all of them and then i never do it they also added this side uh, piece right here they also have this cute braid right here which now i'm scared of washing her hair maybe i'll just wash the bottom part because if i take it off it's gonna come undone because there's no hairband right here or maybe i'll just put a hairband right there or something and then she is wearing this crown which to me looks like a spider web but also kind of like an octopus <laughs> i don't know something weird like that but it's really pretty and it is also the same color as the stand and the brush and it is a metallic finish then she's wearing these super cute earrings they are metallic pink and it looks like a shell and then it looks like something's coming out of there she is also wearing this super cool necklace and it is the same color as the stand and the headband it is a metallic kind of mint color and it is a super cool octopus with a chain part in the back she is also wearing a bracelet and it looks like it's just a white pearl bracelet it kind of looks like see-through and uh, i'm sorry about this but they did put um this clear plastic underneath her clothes and i don't really want to take it off because i don't know if this thing is gonna stain or what and then the other accessory is her belt which is a bunch of chains and it also has like some cute details right here there's a seahorse a starfish a shell and then i don't know what these are called but it's the same thing as their earrings like the same kind of design and now for her outfit she's wearing a one-piece dress and if you take off the jacket it is like a sleeveless dress it does have some mesh right here and on the waist we see like a little scale pattern and it is pink with black but it also has that cool little reflection and it kind of looks like goldish maybe it's different colors throughout the dress because i can see some gold and then i see some pink down here and then i also see some greenish mint right here on the top and then for the bottom part of the dress she is wearing this three layers of fabric and this fabric reminds me a lot of the 90s barbies like this little material they used to use it a lot for the mermaid barbies in the 90s and I, I don't know I, at first I thought it looked kind of cheap but I actually like it I like the different colors that it reflects and then obviously there's the sheer part and then the bottom part is the same and then she is wearing these super cool socks they are black with pink starfish all over and then her shoes they are absolutely amazing like all the monster high shoes like seriously i think that's one of the things that i like most about these dolls like look at these shoes that is insane it's a whole octopus right here in the back and they are kind of blue and they also have like glitter they are very detailed you can even see the eyes of the octopus it's crazy and like down here on the bottom part if you see like the little plants right there it, they are super detailed i really love monster high shoes they always come up with like really cool things and the last part of her outfit is the see-through jacket and it is just a blue clear plastic jacket we do see these little details that made it seem like she has a zipper it should be like a zipper right here there's like little fake pockets right here with a fake zipper and then we see the same thing in the front of the jacket and on the other side we also see these cute ruffles right here on the shoulders i really love her outfit i don't know in person she looks way better when i when i first saw it um i think it was on the convention or something the pictures that they showed for that um i i wasn't obsessed with her but now in person i think she's adorable and then on her face we can see that she has the same skin color as the original she has blue eyebrows 
and she also has rooted lashes just like any han couture doll she has green eyes and she has her cute little freckles she has a little bit of blush and she's also wearing this super cute coral lipstick but that is it for today guys i really think she is amazing i hope they make more characters because these dolls are super gorgeous and super detailed that i wish we had all the characters like this to be honest but at least like some more of the main ones will be really cool but i think this was it this was the last doll from this collection i hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it please make sure to give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell that way you get notified every time that i post a new video thank you so much for watching goodbye